Hi everybody, it's EJ here, CJ's behind the camera tonight, and we're going to go over the uh, transferring of the components from the white perlo uh, white pick guard to the white perloid pick guard, right down here. You see, this is all of our components, they're all wired together. We don't have to worry about soldering or anything tonight, because we're going to disengage all this and put it all over here, from over here to over here. And it's gonna look so nice. So we're gonna set this to the side at the moment. Lay it right there. And we're gonna start disengaging everything we need to do. And I'm gonna get a chair and sit down. So the first thing we're gonna do, pull this little peg off, a little cap. That is your uh, pickup selector switch. It's called a blade switch, and you have five different positions. Right here, that's this one pickup. Right here, that's both of these pickups. In the middle, that's a single middle. Right here, both of these, and there. That's that one. And it gives you different tones. Go right back. So what we're gonna, and then we're going to take. There's a reason I put all of these in the number one position. I want them to stay there. Now we're going to take this here. Just a little gentle like that. Turn it. Yeah. Trying to... We don't want to ruin this pick guard. We might use it in another project for later on. We're going to get this off of here. We did forget one tool. I'm gonna have to get it. Need a nine millimeter, uh, ten millimeter. And that's how easy that comes off. And then we just turn it all the way back, and we'll leave those in there. We need a ten millimeter nut driver to get that little uh, nut off, so the washer. The nut comes off, and this thing just drops right out. Let's get these. And there are actually special tools for just doing this sort of thing. You can get them through Stumac. I just haven't had a chance to get one. They're pretty neat. They help you out a lot. You just lifting it up a little bit with this. Flathead. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the flathead screwdriver. Real gentle. You don't have to do a lot of force. And you're keeping the rotation right here. You're trying to keep the corners off of the pit guard. So like I said, we want to use this thing later. I'm going to lift it up about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch is enough. And there's that. Now, um, I have to look at my tools. And let's find what we need. And my tools are spread out all over. There's a baggie I have. Lots of safety glasses. for time so we're going to use this pair of pliers. I don't recommend it but it's what we're going to use. So grab gently turn just enough to loosen. A lot 
lot of people have a deep well 10 millimeter socket with a little handle on it. I've got one of those, I just didn't think to grab a hold of it. There's the nut. Push it down. There's your potentiometer. And there is your washer. And yes, you want your washer. Don't lose those. Gentle. You don't want the potentiometer to turn with the nut. It won't hurt it, it's just aggravating. Just finger underneath of it. And what we're trying to do is keep everything in the same position for whenever we start putting things back together with the white pearl. Oil. start from the outside in. And yeah, it's going to be a little tight there, but strong enough you can do this yeah. all right that's all that now I'm gonna take this so sort of a ratchet like a screwdriver that's the Phillips yep that's the Titan turn it back this way that way Engage our pickup selector switch. Can you use a drill with a Phillips? You can. Thing is still in line with what we're doing. Now we're going to use a power tool. <clears throat> and the reason for that is because these screws, these these screws right here, are really long. table that's because underneath between the bracket of the pickup and the screw and the pick guard there is a spring don't lose the spring
show you something real quick before we do the last one. This is your pickup. Actually, this is your pickup cover. Now, this came with the pickup and uh, was what Stu Matt gave us. There's nothing saying anything special about these. But what you have here is this is the plastic is all a bobbin. You have so many hundreds or thousands of winds of very, very thin uh, wire. And I don't know what kind of wire it is. But then you have what are called pole pieces. And they have different types of steels for the pole pieces. I don't know what the differences are. But also on the back, you have this magnet. That is what creates the connectivity and the uh, helps with the sound for what's coming through the pickup because the pickup is basically a small little microphone and whenever you uh, have that pickup on there you could when you have it completely hooked up to your amplifier and your volume turned up in some cases you can lean down and you can talk into the pickup and you'll hear your voice come out through the amplifier so mm -hmm. just a little fun fact and how things are made disengaged all the components from this pit guard that's it it's empty there's nothing left on there to worry about and I uh, got a few marks from where we use the uh, screwdriver down here but like I said there's other tools you can use and you know you won't hurt it but if you're replacing this with something else then it's going to be all right. Now, <clears throat> this is a fun thing I've been waiting for for a long time. And this is something that CJ gets to do. And anybody who's a guitar player understands that taking the plastic off of the pick guard or off the top of the pickups is always fun. It's like uh, Christmas. You're opening that Christmas package. There's something about it is satisfying. So I'm gonna take camera and I'm gonna let CJ do this after I get this started for her. Here. It's your guitar, it's your pick card. There's that little spot right there I did. Okay, I'll do it. No, no. No? Just like that. Reach over and grab that edge right there, hold it down, and then slowly pull back. Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's this what is, you Oh, mean. it's so much fun. Because <laughs> okay. for one thing, the plastic is not I'm really showing... my Christmas present. The plastic is not really showing off the beauty of the pick guard. Hmm. You got it. Look at that. Hmm. There we go. Wee. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Now look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that is, is different. Yeah. Ooh, you can see the colors in it. Oh yeah. That is so nice. All right. So I'm gonna hand her back the phone. Oh. I'm glad that's all I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna get rid of the trash. Just a second. So anyways, um, right here on this, guitar, this guitar, now, when we changed out that pick guard, which you can see it's a humbucker and two singles, of course, we had to order that one special. But whenever it got here, 
I also had some white pick uh, pickup covers for the singles that were Fender Professional Series aftermarket. But some you run into is that uh, they do not fit. And so we're not making any changes like that with this one. It's just a heads up to everybody that, you know, if you have a Squire guitar and you want to change the pickup covers, you might have to modify your uh, pickup covers just a little bit. But anyways. That's, that's one of my favorite guitars. Yep. So now, everything in line still. Oh, looky. Looks like they kind of color-coded. Okay. So this one's your neck on the yellow. So now... We're going to go backwards on the way we're doing it. And what we're doing now, though, is going to put the screw through here. Those long screws. That's right. And then we're going to take this. And we're going to put it like that. What is that? I can't That's see it. That's a spring. Okay. Oh. And it's important. Spring there. And now we take the pickup. And just slip it in there. Like that. Try to get her lined up as you can. This is one of those things where you wish you had three hands. But we're going to take this. We're going to get it started. Make sure you got a good thread going through with it. Okay, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one grabbed. We'll put this one back on. Just a little bit, no need to do a whole lot. Get back up into the cavity of the pick guard. There. Because after we get done putting all this back together, it's going to be done. And then uh, whenever we do assemble the guitar and we start uh, get the guitar completely uh, strung up and everything then we're going to adjust the heights on the pick guard and that's going to be part of the setup but that'll be a later video so now We can wait just a second on this. Let's just get our pick up in there. Push it down back there, hold it. Right. 
better. No. This side. This is probably the most tedious part of the uh, whole transfer. Just getting the pickups lined back up and everything. And remember, you want the, just like a cone, you want the bottom of the cone on the top of the pick guard. Like this. Excuse me, bottom of the cone on the bottom of the pick guard. Does that matter which single goes where? Yes, and it's because of the wiring. Mm -hmm. Because when you have your selector switch here and you're going from one to the other, let's say down here, this is supposed to be for this one, and up here is for this one, mm -hmm. or the you know the middle sections where uh, you got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One and five are most important. But of course, having uh, when you're doing uh, two and four, you know, I mean, it's it does make a big difference. Don't don't let anybody fool you. It's gonna need you're gonna need to do it. Do it the right order. That's right. And also, you see how these little corners right here, you want to make sure they're going that way. Mm. That's very important. Now, Now with this kit, with StuMac, they send it plug and play, so you don't have to. It's uh, already pre-wired. Yeah. Plug and play is a lot different. Plug and play is where you actually have wires that will just plug into themselves. Oh. Like I had with my uh, Explorer I got from HayesMusic.com. Mm -hmm. So. From Australia. Uh huh. They came really quick, you know. Yeah, quicker than. <laughs> The one in the United States did. Well, good, because we are already at 25 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, you're not yeah. putting it on the guitar yet. <laughs> no. There we go. Pickups. Cool. Let's go ahead and do the uh, 
gotta make sure to keep your wires out of the way of each other. I can't see how you're doing that. Neither can I. <laughs> you're lining up the little screw holes right here. Oh, okay. It's a bracket. So. But you put the little knob in there already? Yeah, and one thing you, I should have done, I should have taken this selector switch the and switch. push it back like that. Mm -hmm. Say so it'll be like this. So I know that I've got yeah. it. this. It's not back. It's lined backwards. up. Yeah, it's not backwards. Right. It's only my second time of doing this. So. Putting components back together like this, leave both of them a little bit loose. That way you make sure that the threading is working right and then you press your component back up against the pit guard and then you can tighten it down. And with the pit guard, I use the power drill, you know, power tool to do these, but you want to use uh, hand tools because this stuff even though it looks really cool and it's great, it's still fragile. You want to be careful not to break it. And part of the problem when people put their pick guards on the guitar, see, I'm not tightening really hard. I'm tightening just enough so it's snug. Um, they'll put them down so hard, especially right here on the corners. You'll see a lot of Stratocaster style guitars with broken corners off. Why? Because somebody tightened it too hard and then eventually over time it just it got brittle, it cracked, it snapped. So anyways, now let's take these. The pots. The potentiometers, that's right. And one way you can always tell, this is the volume. And the way I can tell is because right here on these have green little capacitors. Those are your tones. So we're going to take this one, slip it in. And this one is slip it in. Keep your wires away from each other. These are the only three wires we're going to have to solder, by the way. It's going to be real simple. Two okay. are going to go to the output jack, and one goes back underneath the body to the tremolo system, to the claw, where the springs attach inside. So, anyways, it's this, this, it's this, and now we just lay this down. I'll start with 
our volume. you don't mess up the threads. hand tight right now. There's that. That's what we do. That's how it works. You can make sure you don't get a wire. I didn't have one got underneath there. I don't want that. The wire is separate. And if you get an aftermarket, then you have to be careful because I also got an aftermarket for that guitar there. Uh, it came with uh, the selector switch tip, it came with the pickup covers, it came with uh, you know volume and tone knob covers. Uh, and the thing is, the pickups covers and the uh, aftermarket uh, tips, uh, switch tip, didn't fit, which I did find out later on YouTube how to make it fit. But anyways, so that's why on that one it's a whole lot of uh, black still. Now let's we'll just take this. Yeah. Now we're going to turn these as if they are in number one position. Like they're turned off, you know, volume and anything. So you turn all the way this way, that way, that way. I want to look at one thing real quick. This may not look quite right. You always want to put your number one in the same position. Is that tone? No. Oh, yes, you're right, it is. Hmm? You're right, it is. I almost grabbed the wrong knob there. So we want number one up here where you can see it whenever you're playing. One. It just pops on. You just push it back down. And if you ever have a problem with the uh, aftermarket knobs not fitting onto the potentiometers, if they're too loose, they slip on and off. It's real easy. Just take a little flathead screwdriver, 
put it in there. You can just wiggle and widen it out a little bit. And it'll be tight. So, make sure we're going to look about the same. That must be volume. This is volume, tone, and tone. Mm -hmm. That's where we want it. And that's it. That's how you replace the components. Switch from this pick guard to this pick guard. Yay! And in the next video, we're going to start slapping that guitar together. First, we're going to attach the. Well, let's do this. Can show what it'll look like, I guess. Yeah. Take this thing. And it's going to fit into there. Like that. Cool. And then we'll we're going to attach our bridge first. And then we'll lay this down. Before we screw it into the body, we're going to attach our we're going to lay our neck down and make sure it's all fine. Make sure everything works lines up. Make sure all of our screw holes line up. Because anytime you make adjustments to any guitar in a situation like this, you wind up with something that's just not in place right. So we'll do that. And then bridge, neck, pick guard, screwed, uh, screw down the pick guard. But we have to take these three wires before we do that. And we have to take two of them and run through here. And I'm going to take this other black one. And run it through here. And once we got those set, then we can screw this down. After that, we can attach our output jack, and we're going to install what's called a claw back here, because our bridge will have its block, which three, two or three springs will go from the block up to the claw, and you, this is a negative wire, and you solder it to that negative, to the uh, claw, uh, and then that's it. We can actually get that done, and then we can plug it in to a little amp and turn it on even without the neck, and I can sit here and I can tap <laughs> on these, and we'll go through the switches. We'll go through the selector switch. You get sound. That's right. So, anyways, that's it for the video. Yay! So, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it didn't take too much of your time. I hope it was some something informative for you, because I did this in an hour and a half. When I did that guitar there, I took probably about, yeah, an hour and a half from the time I disengaged everything, took off all the strings, uh, did not take off the neck, but disengaged the old pick guard, put the components into the new pick guard, put everything back together, put strings on, stretched it out, had an intonation done, set up complete uh, an hour and a half. And then I left it in the stand Turned all the lights off, went to bed, except for that light right there, with it right here, and the next morning CJ got up and she got to see that cool guitar. So yeah. anyways, that's it. Uh we're uh really been having a busy week and we appreciate you guys taking your time to watch this. Uh, you know, thank you so much for all the likes and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And please make comments to let me know if this is helpful to you. But other than that, we're going to say goodnight. And you all have a great weekend. And God bless. Bye.